Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am the Chartist and today we had a big big green day. Look at that big Shrek candle. Looks awesome guys. Looking like Bulls has a chance. Is the correction over? Well let's find out guys. Well, here you can see this blue line right here. It was a resistant level. It served as a resistant level. We got the breakout from this uh, resistant level and it got treated as a support confirming the breakout and end up leading to a much much higher highs as you can see so then we had this correction and look at where this correction dropped all the way to right down to the 426.5 level okay I've talked about the 426.5 level a lot I said that's a good place for a buying opportunity I've also had it in my Discord for quite some time. There's a support level. I have it almost every day, depending on where the uh, SPY opens. And we got that strong bounce from there since then, okay? Which is right here, okay? So that bounce wasn't just a regular bounce. I didn't just bring up 426.5 just to bring it up, guys. This was a critical support level because it was a previous high. And as you can see, we got the bounce. And for three days in a row, so from the bounce there, then three days, one, two, three, we've held above it. Today, if I bring up the moving average, as you can see, bullish momentum is building because for the second day in a row, for the second day in a row, the SPY closes above the five-day moving average. Now, I say it before, and I'll say it again. One close above a critical resistance level is only it's one thing. It's not enough. But when you see another close like this, that's a good sign. That's a good sign that we're going to see more upside. And we got very close to testing that 13-day moving average. Very close. So, in my opinion, we had this strong bounce off of a critical support level that was a previous resistance level. Continuing to confirm that this breakout back in April is still good. It's still legit. We also got multiple closes, two closes, above the five-day moving average. And this is telling me, based on price action-wise, guys, price action-wise, it's telling me that it wants to head up higher and test the other resistance levels or test the other moving averages, okay? So we have... 435.65, that's the 13 day. 439.25, that's the 20 day. And of course, 442.80, that's the 50 day moving average. And above that will put us back above all moving average, which is a very big bullish sign. But we're not going to be bullish fully just yet until, well, it's at least a spy, because I could be bullish if I want to, because right now it's looking like this bullish momentum building. But. To be very bullish on SPY for sure, I want to see SPY break above 445.60 or 445 and close above there, which is where this resistance level is right here, okay? So SPY above 445, I have no doubt in my mind, if SPY closes above that level, that we will head up to the 460 plus level, up to new all-time highs, okay? Right now, SPY is no longer closing or trading below all moving average is showing us signs multiple close above the five I think we could break the 13 day we'll see and we could test the 20 day moving average okay now if you're still bearish and you want to be bearish be sure to show at resistant levels at those levels that I mentioned okay 445 will be a very very critical and strong resistant level okay so right now with this big body green Shrek candle I just can't help but feel like we're gonna have more upside all right now I'm looking at the VIX the VIX has another big red candle this candle is even lower than yesterday's red candle and it looked like in three minutes it's about to close right or a little above the 20-day moving average okay now I'm waiting I really want to see this range get broken from 24.8 all the way down to 20.50 okay of course if spy can break down to the downside very bullish for spy if it breaks to the outside very bearish for spy and right now vix look like it wants to head down lower but of course 
we shall see, all right? Gotta let the price action guide us. And right now, all I can say for today is that the price action has bullish momentum building. So with that being said, tomorrow's support level will be at 432, which is at this five-day moving average. And if that doesn't hold, we will look for more buying opportunity under 427, around the 426.5 to 0.7 range. And of course, if we get that close below this support line, below 426, and of course, if we have multiple closes, that's a big, big sign that we're going to head lower down to this 200-day uh, moving average, which is now at 414. And if that doesn't hold, we'll come to this uh, support level. We have support from here, one, two, and we could get another support, another touch over here, which is all the way down at 394. That is a big, big scary drop, even lower than the 200-day. But from what things look like right now, is looking bullish short-term wise. Okay, remember the uh, the uh, seasonality for the S&P 500 that I showed you guys a few times? It said that um, after the first week of October, there would be a buying opportunity. And so far, it's been, uh, first week of October is up, and it looked like we had some buying opportunity. So we'll see. Okay, so right now I'm bullish. I will be buying at support level 432. And try to ride it up to this 445 resistant level, okay? So that's what I got. I'm bullish right now. Triple Q, I'm also bullish. As you can see, the support level since November of 2020. Almost a year ago, 11 months ago. Okay? Got one, two, three. We got the fourth touch and it's looking like it wants to head up higher. As you can see, it closed also like SPY above the five-day moving average however yesterday it closed like 10 cents or a few cents under the five-day today it closed well above it more convinced that we could go test that 13-day moving average which is at 363 so based on this price action i'm short-term bullish and i think we get a relief rally to the upside to one of these resistance level if triple q closes above 370 multiple times i'm confident that we will head up to 390 which is my next price target for triple q okay now moving on to RK, RK, I'm pretty bullish on it. I haven't covered it, I've been covering Tesla, but decided to come back to RK because one, we got this head and shoulder, inverse head and shoulder. This is the head, left shoulder, right shoulder. This, look where the blue line is, okay? Perfect, almost leveled with each other, okay? So RK below 106.30, then I'll be very bearish and I, and I would buy puts at resistance, of course. And ride it down lower but right now it's looking pretty bear uh, bullish all right we have this inverse head and shoulder pattern which is a, a, a bullish price pattern and we also have this bull flag as you can see okay so we, right there we testing at the support level let's see my next price target is at 120 we'll see if we can get up there 121 maybe all right and if we break out from there i think we can go fill this gap that you can see clearly see right here at 142 all right guys and then, of course, Bitcoin. Guys, I hope you made a lot of money on Bitcoin. Because if you're one of the few people that actually watch my video through, because most people don't watch past five minutes to six minutes. Uh, but if you're one of the few that does, you would have been listening to my technical analysis. And I told you about the cup and handle pattern not too long ago. And we watched for that breakout. Okay, I had a 50K price target. We broke that. And my next price target was at 54K. Okay, I even wrote it in a uh, crypto technical analysis in my uh, Discord. Where did I write it at? Right here. This was yes. This was today's actually after yesterday's breakout. I think I bought. I wrote more yesterday. But, okay, we had a resistance line fifty point eight. Watch for a break. We get it. The next price target is fifty four k, then fifty nine k, then seventy one k. Okay, that's my price targets for Bitcoin right now. The reason I got 71K, well, 59K is this previous high right here. And of course, we could say the previous all-time high was my next price target. But I think Bitcoin is going to do better than that based on this green resistance level here, which is above 71K. All right. So that is my next price target for Bitcoin. Guys, do not catch FOMO. In my opinion, this is a lot of, you know, this is a lot of upside people gonna catch FOMO I would be careful catching FOMO I would wait for a retracement okay back to see if it tests the breakout levels 
right? The breakout level right now is at 50.8K. Let's see if we, we test our look to enter there. If a break below that, it would be very bearish, of course. I will cut my loss. But other than that, Bitcoin is looking bu uh, bullish. And I think it's not a good time to enter now. But after a nice retracement or a nice healthy pullback, I think we could head to 59K and then 71K. Let's make this money, guys. So I hope this technical analysis was able to help. If you didn't already, please like and subscribe. Come join my uh, Facebook. I have over 557 members. Help me get to 1,000 members, guys. Also, I have a Discord where I share all my best technical analysis and my most, my best profitable uh, technical analysis. Like, look at this one. This was written on yesterday, all right, October 5th. I'll be looking to short SPY at the 431 to 433 resistance. That was yesterday. And this morning, SPY opened at what? Okay, we shorted at 433. That's what SPY closed. And this morning, SPY opened around 428, 429. So profitable technical analysis if that's what you're into and need help to get uh, profitable in this crazy market. All right, guys. So other than that, good luck. Thanks for being here. I'll see you all soon.